This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Did you know? The first ever cat video was uploaded on May 22nd, 2005. And of course, coming to present day, you can't go a day on the internet without seeing some sort of cat video, picture, or meme. The internet loves cats. Therefore, it made perfect sense for the developers of one of the biggest games of all time to add a playable cat character into their video game. That cat's name was Yumi. And she wasn't well received. In terms of the all-time worst champions in League of Legends, only two champions have ever gone under a 30% win rate. They are Syndra and Yumi. However, one of these is not like the other. Although Syndra was weak on her initial release, she wouldn't be the first or last champion to have lackluster damage on launch day. Instead, Syndra's terrible win rate came from the fact that Riot released Syndra as a playable character while she was actually broken. She had a variety of bugs, including one that would make her abilities simply just not work. Then how did you just blow up? I don't know. Dude, do you see your dead body? Yeah, it looks stupid. She's standing up straight. You're just standing. <laughs> but that still leaves us with Yumi, who only has a 2% difference here. And unlike Syndra, Yumi didn't have any excuses. There weren't any major bugs, she was working as intended. She was just simply the worst champion in the game by a far margin. Well, I don't actually think this. I was just reading the Reddit comments from when Yumi was released. May 14th, 2019. The release of League of Legends 144th Champion. Yumi, the magical cat. But apparently she was not magical enough. Because in less than 24 hours, the League of Legends community came to the conclusion that Yumi is a filthy piece of shit that should have never even been f And I'm almost not exaggerating. There was a post titled, Yumi win rate so far is 29.71%. It gathered 7,000 upvotes and heaps of conversation with 2,077 comments. Most of these comments were completely shitting on Yumi's entire existence. From calling her worthless, saying Riot is out of ideas, to some just requesting that the champion be deleted as a whole. I think that Yumi is going to be forgotten in a month or two. Sort of like Ivern. 17 days after all of these comments were made, Yumi would go on to be picked for the first time in a professional match of League of Legends. Well, I can tell you one thing, we have our first Yumi, the LPL. I told you it was coming. Maybe I got the side wrong, but I'm still excited. Yumi gonna be locked in. The Yumi. The Yumi. Yumi is up. Yumi. The Yumi. The Yumi. The Yumi. The cutest of cats. The Yumi. Meow. Despite what all of those comments said, Yumi would go on to explode in the professional side of the game. From seeing matches in Worlds, all the way to being the most played or banned champion in the European and North American Summer Tournaments. The North American side of things were especially interesting as Yumi was not only the most desired champion, but she came through with an incredible 72% win rate. And this was before the discovery of combining Garen with Yumi. But that's almost a whole different video. Not only was Yumi one of the most played champions in professional matches, but she was one of the most feared champions. Teams from the League of Legends Korean Championship arguably one of the most competitive leagues, had Yumi as their most banned champion in 2019, banning her over 150 times. And speaking of Yumi being a threat, after Yumi proved to be perhaps one of the best supports in the game, North American teams decided that they never want to see her again. In the 2019 playoffs, Yumi was banned in every single game. In total, within the summer tournaments of 2019, Yumi would go on to be either picked or banned 598 times. But okay, so what happened? How did we go from Yumi being garbage to Yumi taking over the game? Well, I think the story of Yumi is a great example of why you should be patient, not overreact, and overall don't listen to an internet hate mob. 
Yumi was an entirely brand new concept in League of Legends. So for a game where people literally take months to feel like they finally understand how to play, you'd think people wouldn't be so quick to judge a new champion. But regardless, less than 48 hours after Yumi had been released, the developers decided that maybe the comments were right. She is a little weak. So they made a hotfix patch to basically increase all of her numbers. And once again, everyone was sh on Yumi, saying it's not enough, she still sucks, etc. But now don't get it twisted. This sentiment wasn't exclusive to keyboard warriors on Reddit. Both pro players and high level players in general also spoke negatively of Yumi initially. Am I just stupid? Is this what this is? What? Okay, wow. I don't know if I'd want this cat as my lane, lane partner. Listen, people pick Yumi in my game? Hey, let's just say we'll be on Reddit. And focusing on Tyler as just one example, he would later go on to frequently take advantage of Yumi when she was at her peak. Woo! I'm doing it! Hey, you guys laughing now? Watch, in, two, in five months I'll have 1,000 Yumi games played. In conclusion, as silly as it sounds, Yumi's terrible initial performance was simply a result of people not knowing how to play her. And once people figured it out, they apologized to Yumi for all the mean things they said earlier. Okay, that part may have never happened. Instead, they went on to be mad about her being too strong now. Why is Riot buffing Yummy when this cancer champ is still a staple and competitive even after nerfs? Yummy is the biggest mistake Riot has ever made. Which kind of game do you dislike, hate the most and why? I really dislike, dislike Yumi. I think uh, I will never be bored enough of talking about uh, Yumi and how annoying she is and how stupid this champ has been made. I really wish that Riot just accepted that they fucked up and they just removed the champion from the game. And once again, the angry gamers got the developers to listen to them. Because as updates were made to the game, Riot slowly started nerfing Yumi, including removing entire features from the champion. For those unaware, Yumi used to be able to teleport with the champion she's attached to. However, in patch 9.24, they completely removed the feature. And this wasn't some secret strategy that certain players were doing. This was an entire selling point of the champion. Riot even made sure to record specific voice lines which would activate when Yumi teleports while attached to an ally. And honestly, I personally miss that mechanic. But I know some people were celebrating when the change was made. Especially user Cosmonaut713 on Reddit, who basically wrote an entire essay begging for Riot to remove Yumi's teleport. This didn't get much attention, though eventually his wish came true. But anyway, next time you're reading comments from Angry Gamers Online, make sure you're browsing the internet safely with ExpressVPN. A VPN encrypts all internet traffic sent to and from your devices, ensuring that your IP address remains hidden, masking it with a brand new IP address in a territory of your choice. This keeps you protected on the internet. I personally use ExpressVPN myself for watching content and accessing websites that are otherwise blocked in my region. And I'm not talking about anything fishy here. Sometimes simple straightforward websites will block you from visiting their entire site just by you being outside of the country. In my experience, this is common with local news providers, sporting events, and of course, Netflix. Although Netflix has a large library of movies and shows, some of these are exclusive to certain regions. For example, Ghibli films are currently only available to users in the UK. But with a VPN, you could be in the UK yourself within a couple seconds. So honestly, whether it's for watching region blocked content or just staying safe online, ExpressVPN is a very useful tool to have. Find out how you can get three months of ExpressVPN for free by going to expressvpn.com slash Nikolai. The link will be in the description. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you again next week.
Miau.